I have always felt called to do something with children. You spend part of your life searching for your purpose, and this is my purpose. The majority of the kids come from backgrounds that are just really terrible circumstances. Drugs, abuse, and I just couldn't sleep at night knowing that that was going on. Being homeless, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I have an 18-month-old daughter. When I gave birth, I was 15. I got two black eyes, and not enough makeup could cover it. There's been times that I've tried to commit suicide. My parents started doing drugs and kind of ruined my perfect family. Coming from abuse definitely damages everything about you because you always wonder, what did you do to deserve what you got? And, uh, These kids completely changed me. I could never go back to not doing something about it. You go to a homeless shelter and you see those kids and you think there's no hope for them, but you take them out of that environment, bringing them to a space where they can feel safe and loved and nurtured, and they are just changed. When a child has been through something horrible in their past, it's important that they heal from that. And art plays a big role in that for us. I think that art can bring out a lot of emotion, so you can just like paint a picture, and all of that will be on the paper. And then if you share that with people, they will kind of understand the story. It helped me to feel normal again, instead of like a snail in its shell. We make that promise to be there, and they start to build that trust in us as we build the trust in them, just like a family should. I'm not as scared as I was when I first came to Halo. It kind of makes you feel like home when you come here because they treat you like family. Is it possible for these kids to truly break the cycle from their past? Yes. I didn't want my daughter to see me on drugs. She would have seen me how I see my mom, and that's not, that's not how I want her to see me. It's you who has the ability to forgive and to forget. It's just, it just depends on you. They've been through so much in their past and they can take that and apply it to their future. It's like, not necessarily the negative piece, but because they've been through so many obstacles, these obstacles are nothing to them. I wanna go to college and be a teacher. Maybe one day I'll see a kid like me walk through the door and I can help them. I'm gonna try to get a job so I can save up money so I can pay for my college tuition. Well, I'm starting college on Monday. Aim high. And if you make it, then it's better than you could have expected. And if you miss it, then you're still doing good. <laughs> to know that so many people care about me now and are proud of me, it's, it's like a feeling that I've never had. You give them a little faith and they start to open up and then you give them a lot of faith and they just soar. There's always a bright side to everything. Just like on a coin, there's always a head and a tail. One of those sides is your lucky side. You just have to pick the lucky side.